All right, good morning. How's it going? My name is Sarah McMullen, and for those that don't know me, I am the head of product for Cloud FinOps product at Google Cloud. Our team is responsible for all of the awesome Cloud FinOps products like cost reports, FinOps Hub, access to our billing data through programmatic APIs, and BigQuery exports. And I want to tell you a little secret. I think our job at Google Cloud is one of the best jobs. Let's see if I can't convince you by the end of this presentation as to why. So in 2023, last year, I stood up here and proclaimed, billing is indeed thrilling. <laughs> so thrilling, in fact, that we actually released over 50 product enhancements to our FinOps tooling. We started with the basics. We increased the granularity of our cost data by over 30%. We actually made that cost data faster by decreasing the latency by 33%. Then we doubled down on optimization, and we released our FinOps Hub, which is our one-stop shop for cost optimization across our entire Google Cloud that combines both rate and utilization recommendations in a prescriptive format along with a savings ledger. And then at Next this year, we announced the long-awaited anomaly detection built on this fast, granular data. But our job is never done. We won't stop until 100% of your costs are visible, they're allocated, your cloud is running efficiently, there's zero waste, and your spend isn't thrilling. It's boring. It's predictable. You know exactly to the penny what's coming in, when. And we do this through our product portfolio that focuses on the primary jobs of the FinOps practitioner. You guys, we look across the inform, the optimize, and the operate landscapes, and we build tooling, and we provide data to help you get these jobs done. So if 2023 was thrilling, what's in store for us in 2024? Well, I'm happy to announce that this is indeed the year that Google Cloud levels up FinOps. First, we're making our cost data even more open. As you heard yesterday from Prevere, being open is really a part of our DNA at Google Cloud. And it only made sense when the FinOps Foundation asked us to join the Open Billing Standards Focus Project that we joined, because we believe that our customers should be spending less time on understanding their bills and more time on innovating. And we heard yesterday the announcement of Focus 1.0 GA. So we want to make it super easy for you all to take advantage of these open billing standards. So at Google Next, we announced a BigQuery view that transforms Google Cloud cost data and aligns it with the specifications and metrics defined in the 1.0 preview. And we had customers adopt this BigQuery view, such as Walmart, Broadcom, and UKG. And so, with the announcement of 1.0 GA for Focus, we're proud to announce that we've updated this BigQuery view. And in addition, we've also doubled down. We're now providing a Looker view that works in combination with this BigQuery view so not only can you see your focus data within BigQuery, but you can now visualize it with our Looker template. So scan the QR code to get access to the Looker template and take advantage of Focus 1.1, or 1.0. We're not at 1.1 yet. And we also want your feedback. So please scan it and get working on it. So if this is level one, what are we going to do for level two? Well, now that we have this open, granular data, we need to make it smarter. And of course, we're going to make it smarter with Gen AI. That's what. Let's see how. Why does it take so much time to understand cloud costs? Introducing Understand My Costs, powered by Gemini Cloud Assist. 
Instead of spending time trying to understand your cloud costs and how they break down, find out why in seconds through specific cost data insights. Simply open Google Cloud Cost Reports and discover what's driving your cloud costs or what's been changing without having to do a thing. Don't know where to start? That's no problem. Discover any number of personalized cost reports sourced from FinOps Cost Management best practices, ready and waiting. Still don't see what you're looking for? Just ask Gemini Cloud Assist for more information on your most significant cost drivers, anomalies, or trends, again, without digging through any cost data yourself. In partnership with Google Cloud's AI research teams, we have evolved Gemini Cloud Assist to help augment your FinOps cost management capabilities with the express goal of putting accuracy above everything. Gemini Cloud Assist provides in-context answers with references to your cost data, answers you can easily verify yourself. Still want to drill down even further? No problem. Generate your own query to explore Google Cloud's granular open billing data in BigQuery within a couple of clicks. No data science background required. With Gemini Cloud Assist, understanding your cloud costs has never been easier. Unlock maximum cloud value today. So I'll tell you another secret. Oh, thanks. <laughs> so our customers spend too much time generating cost reports. And I think actually it's prevalent in the FinOps industry itself. But guess what? It's not actually about generating the cost reports. It's about just understanding what your costs are and what's driving them. You should be able to understand what your Gen AI costs are without having to be an infrastructure expert. You should be able to understand what your prod costs are quickly and easily without combing through the data and understanding what those trends are immediately. That's what this provides us with. Our AI is embedded, it's fully auditable, and it's tuned to your FinOps practitioner needs. So what are you going to do with your new save time? Scan the code and get access to the private preview today. So now that we've made our data smarter, I want to also talk a little bit about how it's not just about tracking dollars. It's actually about tracking something beyond that as well. We need to expand the definition of cost beyond that to make it green. Google Cloud has had sustainability at its heart. Since 2007, we've been carbon neutral, and we're also the most green cloud there is out there. So it only made sense to bring carbon data into the FinOps hub. So now you can identify your emission hotspots. You can also see where you're doing well. You can combine this new insight into your carbon emissions with our AI recommendations around project idle uh, shutdowns. So now what you can do is you can not only save money, by shutting down projects that maybe aren't getting used, but you can also see the sustainability impact of those decisions. And now that I'm talking about optimization, let's drill into optimization a little bit more. You know what was interesting with the most recent state of FinOps data? It turns out that practitioners are very, very concerned about managing committed use discounts more than ever. And I can see why. Managing variable spend and committing to something in the long term does take a lot of analysis. How can you do that easier? Well, level three is you need to make commitment modeling easier through making it real time. Our newest addition to the FinOps Hub is cut scenario modeling. This is designed to take our AI-powered optimization recommendations to the next level. Because everyone knows that AI is only as powerful as the data that it's modeled on. And guess what? You guys know your data more than we do. Now, through our real-time scenario modeling, you can exclude periods of time that doesn't make sense. So for example, maybe you don't want to model your committed use discount recommendations based on Thanksgiving period timeframes. You can also configure our recommendations so that way you can impact the recommendations to your risk level preferences. So for example, if you only want to cover your usage by 70%, you can. That's level four. 
Our final level is reserved for the operate pillar. Because if I told you, for example, you now have a new way to alert you to surprise costs that you might not have been aware of, but not in a noisy way, in a smart way. At Next, we announced the release of our AI-powered anomaly detection, built again on our fast streaming cost data. This identifies projects and provides granular root cause analysis down to the SKU level to take action on. And now we're excited to announce that we have added email and pub sub alerts along with our anomaly detection so you can send, for example, Slack notifications to developers to take action on on anomalous spend. And did I mention that there's no setup required? You don't have to set up a 1,000 channels to get access and, and get this going. And of course, you can configure it so that way you're only notified as to the anomalies thresholds that you're interested in getting notifications on. So at Google Cloud, I believe we have truly reached next level with FinOps across our open cost data, across our smarter reporting, across our green cost data, our real-time CUD modeling, and lastly, our actionable anomaly detection. We believe innovation can really drive change in our world and do amazing things. So now do you see why I think our job at Google Cloud is the coolest? We get to actually unlock massive cloud value for you, the FinOps practitioner. I can't tell you how cool it is to hear you come up to me during the conference and share your stories about how FinOps Hub has saved you millions, or you found rogue spend through our anomaly detection, or you finally cracked the code on why a certain service spend was driving your costs up because you got that granular cost insight. And if you're interested at all in any of the features that I just shared with you, please, please, please come to our user session today at 1045 and see the people behind these products. We have our engineers, we have our designers, and we have our product managers there that'll go deep diving into these features. So that's all, thank you. Good job. Thanks for watching. Check out more FinOps X 2024 content on our YouTube channel on the 2024 playlist. Support our channel by liking, subscribing, clicking the notification bell, and by leaving comments and questions for our speakers. We appreciate your support.